All right, guys, this is going to be a video on how to set up your air fuel mixture jet. And as you can see, I've got the Glenn's air fuel mixture jet on, or mixture screw on here. If you don't have this, you need this, especially if you're going to do any kind of exhaust work, intake work, anything that's going to require any kind of jetting modifications at all, you're really going to want this. Okay, so first things first, make sure the bike is fully warmed up. I prefer to see the fan kick on. That way I know the bike's all the way warm. Uh, at least get it almost to that. You can't do this on a cold bike. You can't do this on a warm bike. It's got to be pretty hot. So, first thing we're going to do is start it up. Then we're going to turn our idle down. Now you'll kind of get this by ear. You'll get used to it after a little bit. But here's how we're going to sound once we get it idled down. Let me get it down there. Okay, that's our normal idle. Let's bring it down to about here. That way any changes we do in this air fuel mixture screw will have a lot more noticeable effect. Right now I'm sitting at two turns. Two turns is a good place to start. Add, it's not gonna really matter. Just sit it on about two turns then uh, you'll be pretty close. Now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna slowly start turning this screw in half a quarter turn at a time. There's one and three quarters. There's one and a half. There's one and a quarter. Let it sit in between these changes because it's gonna take a little bit to take effect. Okay, you hear it? You can tell that difference. That's at one turn, and it's starting to skip now. I don't know if you noticed that. So that's one turn. And that's one and a half, it cleared up. Two turns sounds pretty good, but we're not going by the counter turns. Not yet. So we know we got the one turn and this sounds a little funky. Let's go on going out to two and a quarter. Two and a half. It's not sounding real good now, you'll notice. Let's go back to two and a quarter. It's a little better. Let's go back to two. A little better there. Let's go back to one and three quarters. Not too bad there. One and a half. Yeah, I'm starting to hear a little stumble in it. You may not be able to get it. So what I'm saying is somewhere between one and three quarters turns and two turns, this engine's happy. So basically what you're listening for is that little stumble. As you're turning that screw in, you're leaning it out. Once it gets so lean, then it's gonna start stumbling. And you're gonna hear it, you, you'll know it. And then stop right there. And then start backing the screw back out to the other direction. That's richening it up. Once you get it so rich, it's gonna start stumbling again. It's too rich. What you wanna do is you wanna catch the center in between too rich and too lean. So let's say if you're at one turn and it's too lean, three turns and it's too rich, chances are you're gonna be sitting at somewhere around two turns. You can fine tune it as you go along. But that's kind of how it goes. It really doesn't matter what kind of exhaust, what kind of intake, what kind of jets you've got on it. To set your idle mixture, that's gonna be universal for any bike. It's not gonna matter what you've got on it. So then uh, don't forget to bump your idle back up. And don't let the bike get too hot. Of course, in this case, we're water-cooled, so that's not too big of a deal. We're not going to worry about it on this VTX. So anyways, that's how it works. Uh, if you got any questions, you know who I am.